Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Super excited about what is in this package. It has to do with the Lego Mindstorms Inventors. If you want to see what's inside, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give you an update because I know a lot of you have probably been wondering what's been going on about my attempt to try to get a Lego Mindstorms Inventor Kit um, donated to me by Lego. Have not heard anything back yet, but here's some good news. I did order it. Um, I found out that we're going to be getting some new laptops in our district that run Windows 10. So I'm thinking, okay, if I can run Windows 10, I'll be able to run the software to, uh, you know, program the Lego Mindstorms Inventor. So I got one kit. So as soon as I get it, I'll be letting you know, you know, what, you know, everything about it, unboxing it, seeing what's inside, and eventually getting some things built and programmed with it. So stay tuned on that. So what I have in here is I have the Lego Mindstorms Inventor, the mini robots. So let me go ahead and tell you what was going on with this. Um, I don't know how many of you actually follow Lego, but if you, for this month, or I'm sorry, if it was for last month, if you had ordered $35 or more, they would have given you this Lego Mindstorms Inventor kit for free. Now, again, it's the mini robots. So this is not the actual inventor kit that I'm trying to get. It's just the mini robots. It doesn't have any motors. It's just something you can build, but it looks just like the inventor kit. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open this up and let you see what's inside. Okay, so let's dive into this thing and let's see what's going on inside of it. You guys like unboxing videos, don't you? I like watching um, unboxing videos just because, I don't know, just something about unboxing things. It's almost like you're watching people open up Christmas presents or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So there it is. So what's cool about it is, you know, it looks just like the Mindstorms Inventor kit, except they're robots that you can build. And, you know, you know, it's not going to be like they're motorized or anything, but it's just something to cool to display, something cool to just build. So there you go. The Mindstorms. Yep, that's the one I ordered. So there's the different robots. Actually, let me get this bubble wrap off so you can see this a little better. Sorry, I do not profess to be the world's greatest unboxing person. I, you know, I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos unboxing and there are some like pretty good people. They can unbox stuff like crazy cool and good. Okay. You see what I mean? All right. So here we go. Oh, man, just when you think you have it off. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So let me go ahead and just show you some of the robots you can build with this. And definitely, I'm definitely over 10. And there's 366 pieces in here. So it looks, it, you know, it's supposed to mimic the um, inventor kit. Um, I got this for 16 bucks on eBay. So for those of you that might want to check this out and try to get one yourself, there you go. So let's go ahead and open this up and dive inside. Okay, so let's go ahead. No, I'm not one of those people that will end up, you know, selling the box or anything like that. So I'm just going to rip this dude open like it was Christmas morning. Okay. There we go. Okay, box is opened. 
Reese's Pieces everywhere. And there is the booklet on getting these robots built. So very cool. So what's kind of cool is, you know, it's, I'll have to go into this and check, but it doesn't look like it's, you know, any of those three in one kind of things. It looks like you're able to just build all of these and, you know, if you wanted to keep them separate, you could. It's not like you'd have to take it apart in order to build something else. So 366 pieces, that's a lot. So just showing you the different robots that you can make. So what I'm going to do is jump on this and let you see what this looks like when I'm done. Okay, everybody, there you go. There's all of the robots completely built. And there was, gosh, there was like 20 pieces left over. So Lego's pretty generous as far as giving leftovers. So this looks like a robot dog. My students have seen a robot like this. Uh, it's called Spot. They actually use it to carry things on. It has a pretty uh, heavy payload too. This guy's super cool. This is a shooter right here. Right in here. I'll come at you. I'll show you that in a second. And check out this guy. That's actually a clear piece. It looks like he's missing an eye, but that's actually a clear piece there. Hello, everybody. Okay, and this guy's pretty cool too. Actually, let me get this ball. I thought this was pretty neat. There's a ball that goes right here. Check out what happens. If I can get this thing to stay on. Okay, so what happens is you get it trapped right here. And then it lifts up. And then it actually will get caught right there. I just wish there was some tension here that it could stay up like this. But nope. And then this guy's cool too. Let me show you this guy. Has this um, cool little bucket here at the end. And then what you can do is swap out for this shooter. This is actually a shooter. And I'll show you that in a second where these pieces come off. So you can swap this um, instead of the crane part here. So let's give you a little deeper look into all of them. Okay, so this dog has some EV3 parts. If you guys recognize these, some expansion, um, these curved um, parts right there. And these can rotate. Pretty neat dog looking robot right here. Okay, this guy's cool. I like how you can rotate the arms here. And he's got wheels in the back. And little little rotating uh, balls at the bottom here. And then the antenna you can move around. And his head and can swivel on here. Has one of those ball joints. And this guy's cool. I don't know what it is about these one-eyed robots here, but the other one had one eye too. So yeah, it looks like he has a little shield here. And then this shooter part. And then this is really cool where you can bend this guy how you want. It's like the Matrix right there. Uh, but let's pull him up. And so what's really cool about this shooter here is, let's see if I can come over here and do this. So this one here, you're just pushing this forward. I think I can do this right. Whoa, that was pretty good. So this one has one of those warnings in the booklet, you know, don't shoot your eye out, kid. But there is that cool robot. Okay, so this is the cool one that kind of looks like one of those ice cream vendor items. So what's really neat about this is the red ball can get trapped in here. 
this will lift up and you can trap the ball up in there really cool so gets the ball here whoops okay last but not least is this cool vehicle here i love the arm where each section of the arm can be you know twisted has a little bucket here at the end come on trick-or-treating's over um, four wheels and what's really neat is this thing can swivel all the way around so it's a really neat vehicle and the other cool thing about this is you can remove this like that and attach this shooter part onto this so we'll just attach it onto here like that and now we have the shooter part here so let me see if i can do this without losing something so you can there's two of them right here so here goes one of them and this other one and that other one does have a don't shoot your eye out kid instruction on that one because that could yeah that could be dangerous so that's a cool vehicle okay guys so there you go the lego mindstorms inventor mini robots hopefully you know it's something that might be cheap enough that you might be able to get if you just can't spend the big bucks on that inventor kit they're really neat, really cool to just display, and hopefully you enjoyed uh, today's video about them. So it's just a really neat way to, you know, still be able to look at the Lego Inventor, but, you know, in a mini scaled down way, and but it's still cool and fun. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.